Hey everyone and welcome to Petlands Critter Care. Today Robert and I are going to chat about cat's nails because as we know they can be destructive. Mm -hmm. Cats have very sharp nails <laughs> and uh, and you know if we haven't cut our cat's nails before well they might not take that kindly to it either. So <laughs> It takes two of us. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully we'll start uh, with a young kitten mm -hmm. and, and what we'll do with them is just handle them a lot and uh, Cats have retractable claws, right? And so they, they like to exercise their little feet. And so what we're gonna wanna do is just in our even day-to-day -day handling, just, you know, hold them out and you have you have a cat. Yeah, a two actually. Yeah, so you just push down on their feet yeah. and kind of get them used to the idea that you're gonna be messing around with their feet every now and then. And what we really need to do is concentrate on the front claws. Yeah. Because those are the ones that scratch on our couch and scratch on our furniture. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's uh, let's get those front ones looked after, and you can clip the back ones too every, every now and then. Uh, also important to have good scratching material for yes. your cat. It's an instinctive thing, right? We need to they, they they need to scratch to exercise their feet. So they love corrugated cardboard, and most people have a scratching post of some kind yep. uh, for their little pet. So the nice thing about cats' nails that makes it so easy is that. They have a, 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 a long nail and they have a very short quick. So you can be uh, you can be pretty I don't know, aggressive in how much nail you're going to take off, mm -hmm. and uh, and it, you won't make it bleed. Whereas dogs, on the other hand, you have to be really careful. You have to be pretty careful. Yeah. But cats' nails get very long, whereas dogs' nails will just get sharp. And typically, you're only going to need to take off the tip, anyways. Yeah. A dog will wear his nails down by running on pavement and just general exercise. So you just snip out, clip the, the tip of their nail off. Whereas these guys, again, their nails get really long and sharp. And so we want to just get again, get that foot out and so push the pad down, push the pad the down, the nail pops out. And, uh, and then you should just give it a clip. There you go. And you've got a couple of other little contraptions here. Are these similar? Are they? Right. There's the, that, that's a good question. I'm, I'm glad you asked because there are different types of, uh, of clippers. This mm -hmm. is like a scissor style, yeah. uh, whereas this is uh, uh, called uh, creatively the guillotine because it <laughs> lops off the head of the nail. <laughs> so, <laughs> off with his nail. And, and, and both are very, very popular. Both work really well. It's pretty much just what you're comfortable with. Absolutely. So, um, is this a file? Uh, yeah. So sometimes you're not going to get a, a perfectly, a, a really uh, a good uh, clip. Mm -hmm. uh, like it may not be completely smooth. So Never a bad idea. Give it a little file. And uh, we've also got some spray here that uh, you spray this on your furniture and hopefully helps keep them away from. Yeah, it's just a repellent spray because if we do have a if we do have a cat that's scratching on our furniture, we want to we want to break the habit. We want to repel him away from that. So uh, just you know, a repellent spray is a really good idea to help keep him away from that area and then give him something else to uh, scratch on. And cats really like. Uh, corrugated cardboard mm -hmm. and they like to scratch cardboard because they can get their nails into yeah. it and scratch away. So this is just a fun little thing that uh, is uh, cheap and is replaceable and uh, it's something for them to scratch on. Fantastic. Thank you so much for the <laughs> advice, Robert. We'll see you again next time on Petlands Critter Care. Petlands Critter Care is brought to you in part by Nutrients Pet Foods, online at Nutrients.com.